beautiful. Oh, sorry, it's hard to blind you. I was uh, testing out the photo mode on Tailspire, but I needed to capture it. Actually, what am I doing? I could just do that in game. We have a photo mode. It's time I showed you how to actually use it. Stay tuned. Welcome to Dungeon Master for Hire, my name is Professor Pui and I will be your Dungeon Master for this video. In today's video we will be covering the photo mode of Tailspire, how to use it, its tools and its newly added features. It's great, I swear, I've only used it for a couple of minutes and I'm already in love with it because you can go all cinematic with it. Alright, let's jump right into the game! Okay, so here we have a scene I had previously made for a previous video, but now I want to retouch it and give it some more flair. So we'll be using this scene for ex as an example, so you guys can play around with it. So how, how it works, you know, the usual camera, you move around, you rotate, you zoom in and out like you normally would. In order to activate photo mode, like if you wanted to take pictures before, you had to practically hit space so you could hide most of the UI and press F12 and that would take a picture of what you're looking at. But it would have all this UI in the way and so in order to take pictures you have to like get into frame, you have to like rotate yourself, you couldn't rotate above or be from below to get a an angle from looking from below and stuff like that. So now photo mode brings us a whole lot of things that now we can like not get rid, but hide all the UI and just start doing some stuff. Okay, in order to activate the photo mode, you need to press the F6 key. Okay, so you go into your game and you press F6 and it'll jump into photo mode. You'll have a notification and everything, it's great. So as you can see, the UI below changes as you can see a whole bar and stuff in the middle. Move this light to the way, and uh, as you can see, we have buttons here. We have this, which is a copy. We have a depth of field uh, toggle that we can turn on and off. We have this hide button, which we would need to press H to bring back. We have an exposure bar that helps with the lighting. So if you leave it at zero, no, if you leave it at one, it's the basic lighting that the game has. Aperture is how dense is your focus. So if you have an aperture of uh, 0.5, it's like only one straight line that you're looking at, making everything a uh, blurry. But if you increase the f-stop, then it'll it'll take more information, make, make it less blurry. Uh, we also have a vignette, which is this little baby here. Uh, you could make a very a very ominous looking picture thing. And then we have a scroll bar for the chromatic aberration, which the game has, I believe like a 0.1, but I like to turn it off because aberration actually takes some of the GPU from, from the game. And so I don't like touching that. So with these sliders, you can, you know, play around with it, uh, play around with the camera. Okay, with all these sliders, we can do a lot of changes to how the camera looks at the scene. But we also have two more additional camera modes. We have the normal camera, which is, you know, the camera from Tailspire as it's been constructed where you can look around, do the things that you usually would. Then we have the free camera, which you can move around and and, you know, and fly about and look up into the sky like you normally would. So you can position your camera into certain positions and get the angle you want, which is this one from below, looking at the beast. Let's open up this aperture. Let's move the focus a bit closer to the beast. And you can do all this, but it looks too light. I want this scene to look dark. Well, I can do that. I can go to the atmosphere settings. We have atmosphere settings inside photo mode. So we can 
change the atmosphere like you normally would in the board, but it would stay only in photo mode, so it won't affect the rest of the board. You can rotate the sun like you normally would, uh, yeah, the direction of the light. You can add post-processing effect. I can add a frozen effect and have it there, add the density and everything. Let me increase this really high. And uh, let's put this enchanted, I guess. No enchant, it's too powerful. Let's do no effects for this scene. Uh, and we can put in darkness. Now, what I want is for the hero characters to be seen. Um, so maybe I can bring out the exposure. That looks cool. But I, th I feel like this could be better. I feel like if I add some lighting, like maybe a fire here uh, in the back and everything, it'll create much more uh, dynamics. So that should be good. And uh, right, I forgot to talk about the third camera, which is the experimental camera, the orthographic camera, which is a camera that looks from above. Which is great when you're when you have to like print out a map or look from the map from above, which is great. But it if you want to take a picture of the whole map, that's what this is for. But it's not meant for play. I mean, photo mode's not meant for play. So let's go back to free camera, which is I like this camera, my favorite camera. So we go there. We have all this here, and we have an other tab, which is the anti-aliasing mode. We can turn that off and you'll start to see like rogue pixels on the side of the monster and lighting and stuff like that. Um, this is completely up to your liking. I put it temporal because it makes the lines look more smoother on certain objects here and there. It's not perfect, you know, it's never going to look completely perfect. We also have this button here, which is the depth of field you can turn on and off, which is great. And then, yeah, so in order to leave photo mode, you need to press X, which we will do because we're going to add fire. So we leave photo mode and my atmosphere changed. That is because photo mode is its own independent uh, entity and will override the atmosphere that you have left. So with that being said, let's add some things. Let's add some lighting. So I'm going to put in a campfire right here. Uh, let's put some bonfires, like one here over the bush, oh, one over here, like in the hand of the mage, like casting it like a firebolt, put a fire back here, put another over here, and maybe that'll fix the lighting. Let's do some changes here. Let's change this to darkness to see. <sighs> kind of looks better. I would have to increase the aperture, but we don't have that effect here. That would be a good thing to add here, which is the exposure. If if we could, if uh, they could modify the atmosphere settings to add exposure, uh, that would be swell because darkness is really hard to play in unless you have a lot of characters illuminating everything or you illuminate the enemies. So if they could add an exposure slider outside of photo mode, that would be great. So we've added the fires. So now let's go back into photo mode and it looks really illuminated. So let me get closer. Very cinematic-ish. And if we press F12, which is the screenshot key, we have a screenshot. It's been added to the thing, which you can see it's been added. Yes. So now you can make those shots, those cinematic shots with Telspire, because now we have photo mode, guys. Now we can go crazy. So that is everything from photo mode. Photo mode is fairly straightforward. You just have to play with a lot of sliders and atmosphere and placing the figures. You need to place the figures and modify things and leave and enter photo mode frequently in order to get the shot you want. But that is how you use photo mode. You press F6, position the camera, 
change it to either your normal game camera or your uh, your free camera, which can break bounds and go everywhere. Uh, moving like the Unity camera would, so that's great. Um, the only thing that the free camera is missing is for it to go up and down, like uh, like keys. Like in Unity, if you if you're holding, I believe the right trigger, and you press E or Q, the camera goes up or down. That is not here, and it's fairly it's really hard for me to reposition the camera like you saw me move back and down and go up because that's how you need to reposition it at the moment that could be fixed in a future update but that is the only thing that's missing uh besides the exposure actually being in the atmosphere settings because we need that it's really it's really useful so the players can actually see the screen not everybody has the same um level of detail on their computer so that is all for today. I hope this was informative. I hope to see your pictures uh, in the Tailspire Reddit or whatever you post them. So until then, uh, happy hunting, <laughs> happy cataloging your next adventure. Class is dismissed. <laughs>